Straight from the land of the rising sun come two new ways to send your enemy out with a bang. Dragon Cannon Type Rocket Launcher Used by Gunners Effective range 15 to 100 meters Ammo count 2 rockets Explosive radius 8 meters Maximum damage 37 against infantry planes and jeeps and approximately 20 against tanks The Dragon Cannon is an alternative to the Gunner's standard RPG. It offers a much more potent anti-infantry capability and allows you to fire two rockets before reloading. Now the difference between the Dragon Cannon and the RPG are the rockets it fires. While the RPG's rockets explode on impact, the Dragon Cannon's rockets must bounce one time before detonating. While this may not make it suited for close range combat, with some good shooting you can use the terrain to your advantage. It's not advised to use this during a close range fight unless your opponent can't see you or you're behind cover. There is one technique to use in close combat with the Dragon Cannon, although it's really difficult to pull off and you have to be really skilled or lucky. To pull it off, you have to shoot the ground in front of you at a very steep angle and bounce the rocket directly into your opponent. The Dragon Cannon's rockets also explode in midair after a short time, so you can use this to do an air burst effect over a group of enemies doing a lot of damage over a lot of area. As you can see here, it's really effective in Buccaneer Bay. The cannon is great for enemies behind cover. Now the trick to using the Dragon Cannon at close range is to bounce the rocket into your opponent. It may take a little bit of practice, but I'm sure you can get the hang of it. The Gunner is usually the class that's able to take out enemy armor, but with the Dragon Cannon, think again. Although as you saw before, it's very effective against infantry, against tanks, it does barely anything. You're going to be lucky if you get anything in the tens against tanks. Your best strategy against tanks is pretty much to avoid them. You're not going to be able to do any significant damage over time, even if you have IH grenades or a hero shield. It's inevitable that you're going to die, but if you want to do some extra damage, go ahead, and maybe with another gunner who has an RPG, you might actually win. Another minor issue that you might face if you're used to using a standard RPG is the range of the Dragon Cannon. While the RPG can travel pretty much forever in the air, the Dragon Cannon is limited to about 100 meters, and if it hits the ground before that, it's not even going to get close to that distance. To minimize the Dragon Cannon's weaknesses, it's advised to use a close range machine gun or a close range shotgun to make up for its weakness in close range. Combined with one of those two, and the Dragon Cannon will be one of the most effective anti-infantry weapons in the entire game, allowing the gunner to reach out and touch those opponents too far away to hit with machine guns. The Dragon Cannon has high explosive power and damage, is great for checking around corners, and gives gunners a better chance to survive at long range. However, it's ineffective at close ranges, doesn't do a lot of damage to tanks, and doesn't have the same range as an RPG. That's it for this episode of Battlefield Heroes Boot Camp, and I hope to see you